Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Philip Enninger and I am with the Vision for Robotics Lab at ETH Zurich. In this video, I'm going to talk about our recent work, Cross-Agent Relocalization or Decentralized Collaborative SLAM. Let me start by introducing the two main paradigms used in Collaborative SLAM. On the one hand, we have the centralized paradigm where agents communicate via a server, which stores trajectories, establishes constraints and finds a globally consistent solution. However, the server is a communication bottleneck and computational effort on the server increases with the number of agents. Conversely, in the decentralized approach, agents communicate peer-to-peer -peer, and computation can be distributed among the agents, making this approach more scalable. However, agents only have a local view of their trajectory, including constraints to other agents. This requires a more complex approach to finding loop closures and global optimization. State-of-the-art methods in decentralized SLAM have therefore focused on distributing backend tasks only, specifically the challenge of establishing loop closures in a decentralized manner, as well as distributed global optimization using, for instance, distributed postgraph optimization or asynchronous ADMM. However, state-of-the-art systems using PGO lack the ability to extend collaboration to the mapping process, leading to undesirable remapping of the same areas by multiple agents. Consequently, the total map size does not remain proportional to the scene content, and scalability in map size remains unaddressed. Single agent systems such as, such as Orbslam make use of relocalization to produce a map whose size remains proportional to the scene content. We therefore propose a decentralized map sharing strategy to enable agents to relocalize in each other's maps and so avoid undesirable map duplication. In our approach, agents locally run a full keyframe-based SLAM pipeline consisting of local tracking, local mapping, and loop closure. This pipeline produces and consumes map data in the form of keyframes and map points. Each incoming frame is tracked against a local map around the reference keyframe. The map is extended as necessary, and the reference is shifted to the nearest keyframe to the current frame. From this representation, we derive a possibility graph with keyframes as nodes and edges derived from common map point observations. Multiple agents store their map data in a distributed shared map, where each agent makes its data available to all other agents in the system. This map is then queried by the agents as needed to fetch map data into a local storage and make it available to their SLAM pipeline. In this manner, map data produced by any agent in the team is made available to all other agents. In the distributed shared map, each agent's map data is stored in the form of a composability graph with associated map points also stored in each keyframe node. Querying the shared map involves sending a keyframe key to the appropriate agent, which fetches the requested data and sends it back to the querying agent, incurring a communication cost. As agents traverse the scene, they relocalize their current frame using a local neighborhood around the reference keyframe. As the agent moves, the reference may change, requiring the agent to fetch new map data. The agent requests the data from the shared map and inserts the new keyframe into its local storage, including its neighbors. However, this process leads to duplication of map data across agents. We deal with this by removing duplicated keyframes as soon as they leave the local neighborhood. The agent informs the shared map about the removal and the keyframe is removed. As a result, the keyframe has effectively been transferred from agent B to agent A. To keep a globally consistent estimate of all map data, we run a distributed bundle adjustment using consensus optimization. Individual subproblems on agents are connected via commonly observed map points across co-visibility edges. Agents optimize their local problems, send updated common map points to the shared map where a consensus variable is updated. The updated consensus terms are then transmitted back to the agents and incorporated into the local optimization. Running this procedure over multiple iterations ensures a globally consistent and converged solution. Using the decentralized map sharing strategy, we achieve a total map size that remains proportional to the scene content. This is in contrast to a strategy where sharing is disabled and the total map size scales linearly with the number of agents. We compare these two approaches using the Euroc dataset where the five machine hall sequences act as different agents. Using map sharing, the total map size is roughly 15% reduced compared to a configuration where map sharing is disabled. 
This is attributed to the limited overlap between agents' trajectories. In terms of communication requirements, the map sharing approach offsets increased communication due to map transfer, with a reduction in communication due to loop closures as fewer keyframes are produced. To show the scalability of our approach, we ran an increasing number of agents in a constrained indoor office environment. We show that in such an environment, the map sharing strategy converges to a constant number of keyframes with an increasing number of agents, whereas the no map sharing strategy scales linearly. Moreover, the communication requirements on our approach grow slower since fewer loop closures need to be established. In summary, our contributions are a decentralized map sharing strategy enabling map reuse, a consensus based decentralized optimization schemes, and evaluations showing reduction in overall map size, as well as the inherent scalability of our approach. Finally, we make our code available open source. Thank you for listening and goodbye.